Hello everyone, my name is Kenny Carfagno and today we are going to go over how to fix Yahoo search coming up in the Google search engine. Let's get started. If you are here on this video, then you have the issue of getting the Yahoo search on Google. You go and search something in your Google search and it comes up in Yahoo. And you have probably already gone to your Google settings, gone down to search engine, and removed Yahoo just to find that it still doesn't work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get that fixed permanently. From my experience with this problem, it usually starts right up here behind my face. So I'm going to do something real quick and make myself move. Boom. Here I am. Now back to the issue. If you're having this issue, you will usually have some sort of puzzle piece, which is for the extensions or the extensions along here. And what happens to have this issue is you will have some sort of malicious extension that gets installed without your knowing. Now what you're going to want to do is remove this extension and the problem should go away. There's a couple things you're going to want to do when you go to fix it. The first is you're going to want to look at all of your extensions. As you can see here, these are my extensions and see if there are any that you did not personally install. In one case I saw when there was Yahoo in Google, there was a copy of another extension that looked malicious. It looked weird and uninstalling that fixed the issue. So you go through, Maybe say I didn't install this, then I just remove it and report abuse because you got to report abuse if it's malicious software installed on your computer. If what I just showed you does not work, what you're going to want to do next is go to your settings, which is these three dots and settings. Scroll down to the bottom, select advanced and go all the way to the bottom. Restore and settings to their original defaults. As you can see here, this will reset your startup page, new tab page, search engine, and pin tabs. It will also disable all extensions. That's what we want. And clear temporary data, the cookies, your bookmarks, history, and save passwords will not be cleared. So just so you know, none of those things will be cleared, but your extensions will. And you're going to want to reset that. I personally will not because I don't have this malicious software installed. But that's what you're going to want to do. What you're going to want to do next is enable test and reload each page one at a time through your extensions. What I mean by that is you take an extension, probably your first through last and just enable it. And you're going to want to test it to see if this is the malicious software. Search something. If it works, then it's not the malicious software and you can keep it and you keep going one at a time. Test it, reload the page. It still works. Research. As in searching again, not researching. Search, it still works. And you keep going through one at a time till you find the malicious software. And you're going to want to remove it once you find it. Say this is the one that was malicious. I'm going to remove this. Report abuse and select remove. I'm not currently going to do this because this is not malicious software. But when you do find that malicious extension, that is how you're going to want to get rid of it. And if that has worked after you remove the malicious extension, you can search anything and it will come up under Google and your problems are solved. If this particular fix does not work for you, please let me know in the comments so I can give this video an update and make sure that all of the issues you may have with this can be solved. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It will really support my channel. Subscribe, and I will see you next video.